Welcome back to Make Money Online. Let's look at some of the Ethereum price predictions for 2021. Ethereum is the second most valuable token when measured by market cap, and the Ethereum platform offers its users a wide array of tools. Unlike Bitcoin, which was aimed solely at making financial transactions, the Ethereum blockchain was designed to do a lot more. The blockchain that powers Ethereum is far more complex than Bitcoin and allows third-party developers to create their own tokens and sub-platforms on the blockchain. This has led to a steep rise in the popularity of Ethereum, although it has also created issues for some devs that decided to invest in creating new platforms on the blockchain, which means making an accurate Ethereum price prediction requires a holistic approach. ETH is the native token of the Ethereum blockchain. While Bitcoin was designed to be money, Ethereum was aimed at a much wider range of potential uses. ETH tokens make the whole blockchain work and are needed to do anything on the Ethereum blockchain. For the moment, ETH uses a proof-of-work system that is similar to Bitcoin to approve transactions and maintain the blockchain. This may be changing over the next few years with the advent of ETH 2.0, although the roadmap to implementing the new proof-of-stake system isn't well defined. While the ETH token wasn't necessarily designed to be used solely as a currency, it has become a popular means of both savings and payment. Ethereum also has a robust ecosystem that is one of the most important tools that decentralized finance devs have currently. ETH's price records go as far back as 2015 when it was trading in the open market for less than $1. It staged a modest rally into the $10 area by 2017, and then ETH prices went on a breakneck rally to over $1,400 per token in January of 2018. But then it entered a bear market that would take the price as low as $87 by the end of that year. After that fall, the ETH token traded sideways for about a year and a half, and it seemed to be capped at $250 during this time, but it also seemed to be finding buyers at the $100 level. In July 2020, the 250 level was overcome on heavy volume. ETH traded as high as $475 in September, before falling back to test the breakout at $320. From there, it rallied to over $600 in late 2020, and the chart for the token looks bullish, as it's been able to break out of a multi-year trading range on massive volume. But what factors affect the price of ETH? Ethereum's blockchain is built to encourage third-party developers. New platforms that run on the network can have a big influence on the price of ETH tokens and transaction costs on the platform. One of the biggest things that may have driven ETH out of its trading range in the middle of 2020 is the DeFi boom. While ETH isn't necessarily used by all these new DeFi platforms, many new DeFi platforms are built on the Ethereum blockchain, which means that some amount of ETH is needed for the DeFi tokens or platforms to operate. This use of Ethereum as a base for DeFi applications resulted in the net demand for the token, which was clearly good for the price. While the DeFi bubble popped in 2020, ETH prices remained elevated and trading volumes were higher than at the beginning of the year. This does point to other sources of demand for the token, as well as a limited connection between DeFi token prices and ETH prices. As 2020 unfolded, the demand for alternative assets rose. As the second most valuable token behind Bitcoin, ETH became an investment asset for many institutional investors who are entering the crypto market. While most DeFi developers may not be using ETH as money, institutional investors are using ETH as digital gold and holding the token for the long haul. Grayscale Investments, which is a leading crypto investment company, raised a record amount of new investment capital in 2020, much of which flowed into long-term ETH holdings. The next four years will likely be positive for crypto prices, and ETH is leading the altcoin pack. With its break above the $280 level in the middle of 2020, ETH smashed out of its post-bear market trading range and is probably going to much higher levels over the next few years. It's easy to see that ETH prices engaged in a long bottoming process that began in late 2018 and lasted until mid-2020. With the break above the $300 mark on massive volume, ETH is signaling that a new bull market is probably here. Given the backdrop of easy central bank money and government spending programs, ETH may be able to rise to levels that were difficult to imagine at the moment. One of the most important factors that are driving the phase shift in the crypto market is the adoption as a standalone investment by institutional investors. While Bitcoin has traditionally been the favorite of crypto investors, large investors from the established markets don't have the same convictions concerning decentralization. Instead, these investors are likely to favor a growth model and also reward platforms that offer the ability to innovate. In short, ETH is the perfect platform for investors that want both the ability to hold a coin as money and benefit from the rising use of the platform by third-party developers with new ideas. Given the interest in Ethereum's blockchain by developers and investors, it isn't hard to see a scenario where ETH prices climb to between $1,000 and $10,000 over the next four years. One of the biggest unknowns going forward is central bank policy, which has been very difficult to predict over the past decade, especially in 2020. 
the crypto market remains as volatile as always. Although the Ethereum price prediction is looking positive for a year from now, the path to those higher prices is probably going to be full of fast moves down. Bull markets tend to have quick corrections, and as ETH is likely entering another bull run, sharp moves lower will most likely enter the market every so often. ETH is one of the leading tokens globally, and there's no doubt that institutional investors see it as a similar asset to Bitcoin. Given the fact that established investors are entering the digital asset space in higher numbers, ETH should have buying support over the next few years. Should you buy ETH today? Probably yes, but keep in mind that the crypto markets move more like the commodity markets, and you'll probably want to use an accumulation strategy that spreads your buying capital out over months or years. From a technical standpoint, ETH looks like an incredible buy. The token has put in a long and well-tested bottom, which it broke out of decisively. With the high volume move above $1,000 in 2021, ETH has opened up the door to much higher prices. Keep in mind the initial rise in ETH prices to around $475 resulted in a fall to $320. So buying a position in stages makes more sense than making a one-off buy in the market. And with its current peak price, it might be a bit inevitable for Ethereum this time around. The biggest worry with ETH is that the price may fall suddenly, which makes it a poor choice for anyone that is looking for a cash equivalent. This chart shows Ethereum showing mixed signals, with a bullish inverted ascending scallop formed, supported by the formation of a bull flag on the 4H chart for the bull's case. Also a bearish triangle formed for the bear's case. As we can see in this chart, the price is in the zone. Note that the price lingered in the resistance zone for a while. This means that the price has gained strength and is ready to fall. We'd like to remind you that from January 4th, the price began to follow the currencies and for some time the price has not left them. We think that the price is ready to start its downward movement. As for me, it will be a profitable and fast fall. We think the price will be able to reach the support zone. According to this chart, Ethereum, since it showed strong and volatile bearish movements to the downside from the established first stop at 1,350, has somewhat recovered in the structure. However, this recovery is not yet fully strong to consider a direct bullish trend continuation. Taking all these factors into consideration, Ethereum will likely form the breakout and move into the higher levels. In this case, the bullish scenario will be invalidated when Ethereum increases bearishness and finally closes below the lower boundary. And in the bullish triangle breakout invalidation zone, however, when Ethereum forms the bullish breakout as expected, it will move on directly trading into the upper layers of resistance, marked in the chart in red, where Ethereum already confirmed strongly bearish to the downside. Such price action can also happen here as the resistance is still omnipresent, and when Ethereum completes a second top, this can possibly lead to a double top. This possibility should not be underestimated. If you do want to keep a substantial amount of value in the token, it would be a good idea to hedge whatever amount of value you need to have on an on-demand basis, so that short-term down moves don't create issues for your cash equivalent's position. Trading in the long term requires a lot of time and commitment, if you want to see any serious profits. The cryptocurrency world is always awake, and you can't always react to the tremendous waves of volatility. But there is a way to make your strategies work 24-7. We hope you found this video informative, and if you did, please leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Would you like to know more about Ethereum? Let us know in the comments section below. While you're here, check out one of our other videos, and we'll see you next time.